Here's how this works. Water, salt, and pepper, those are freebies. Your pantry, it better have flour, oil, vinegar, mustard, and garlic. Beyond that, you'll only need five more ingredients and 25 minutes to put an entree or entire meal on the table. So shop, set the clock, and let's dish out. Alrighty, we are going to require some really good mayonnaise. Duke's is my personal preference, but Hellman's would be fine as well. Just don't use Miracle Whip, that'd be weird. Then about four or five ounce cans of tuna packed in water, some dill pickle relish, one lemon, and a few stalks, ribs of celery. We'll start off by finally dicing our celery. Nobody wants big chunks of that in their tuna salad. And by the way, if you don't consider this cooking, then that's quite all right, because sometimes you just don't want to get out a big pot or pan and heat it up, but you still want a tasty dinner. And that is where a nice, cool mayonnaise-based salad comes in perfect. So you're gonna add your celery. That was three stalks or about a quarter or a third of a cup to a really large mixing bowl. Next up, we'll go in with two big heap tablespoons of that dill pickle relish. We'll use about maybe one third of a lemon to start off with. You can always add more lemon juice if you want it to be more acidic and bright, but start off with a third of a lemon. No seeds, please. Next up, we're gonna go in with maybe about a half cup of mayonnaise, and man, I am really having a freaking fight with this mayonnaise jar. I, I hate to waste it, but I just can't get those last few tablespoons out, so wish me luck. Next up, we'll drain our tuna. We don't want all that water in our salad. That would be really kind of gross. So go ahead and crack your tuna tins and drain out as much of that liquid as you can get out. And then just add the tuna to your uh, mixing bowl. Next up, we're gonna add in one tablespoon or so of Dijon mustard for a nice twang and a bit of spiciness. Then we're gonna go ahead and mix this very thoroughly. It's a tuna salad. Nobody wants big old chunks of canned tuna in their mouth. You want it to be pretty fine. Add more mayonnaise as you see fit. Some may use up to a cup in this recipe. I think maybe half to three quarters of a cup is more the uh, texture I'm looking for. We'll of course wanna season that thoroughly with salt and pepper, give it a taste, make sure the uh, texture and taste is to your liking. And then this honestly is a lot better if you uh, let it sit in the fridge for a little bit. And speaking of the fridge, if you're uh, cooking along with us and made our turkey burger recipe and still have some pickled onions left over, those would be a totally not required, not part of the five ingredient recipe, but yet still delightful addition to your tuna salad. Mix in a couple tablespoons of those pickled red onions and uh, you can serve this up on a bed of leafy greens. You could uh, certainly toast up a nice sesame bun and make yourself a tuna salad sandwich with some butter, lettuce, and nice thick slices of tomato. Maybe a few fries with some Cajun seasoning. But may I submit to you that humbly on this little cracker, this is a quite delightful little snack or lunch. In fact, you could even just grab a fork, spill a little bit on yourself, and enjoy a bite by itself. All right, guys, I hope you will give this a try. It's pretty basic, but it's still tasty and delicious. Speaking of which, you should go and make something delicious as well.